Okay, Kurt, I came up with a couple of other ways to show you how to do this contouring. Um, so let's take a look. I'm just going to select nothing and go to side, uh, excuse me, go to side milling. And we'll start by picking my tool. Okay. So we have our half inch, sorry. We have our half inch selected tool now. Let's go pick our geometry. And what I'm going to do is just pick the edge here. Okay. And I can pick the edge here as well. Doesn't matter. But I'm going to pick this edge just to show you something. So now from this edge, if I say stock to leave on the floor is minus a half inch, here's what I want you to see. And if I say a hundred thousandths, what you can see here is that the tool path is smart enough to machine on top of the tab based on our step down, and then avoid the tab everywhere else even though I just selected this one edge. And the reason for that is because by default contouring wants to cut the whole profile. Now you can see that the, that the lead outs want to you know, exit the stock completely, so let's go see if we can make that better. So what I'm going to do is uh, not take into consideration the stock there. And now our leadouts are perfect. But uh, maybe we don't want to machine around the whole thing. So how do we fix that? Well, here we deal with uh, modifying the profile that we're machining. So you can just double click right there. I'm going to say the first machining is going to be at this point, And my last machining is going to be at that point. So now you can see I've trimmed up my tool path. Now here I'm going to switch to perpendicular lead in and lead out. And so I want to lead in right there. And you can see that I'm going to lead in, come this way, come that way. It's not ideal, but it's not horrible either. So if I give that an over length, you can see that it shifts it off. So we'll lead on here and clean cut all the way onto there. All right, so like that, we're good there. If we look, you can see the toolpath still is trying to go over that edge. Maybe I don't want it to. Okay. Maybe instead what I'd like it to do is uh, just do this in one pass. So I'm going to set this to one inch. Okay. So like that, we have our tool path. It's created. Okay. Now next, I'm going to take this and just control C, control V to copy and paste it. And then I'll edit this. And I'm just going to edit the lead in lead out points. So I'm going to click on that point there. We'll go to this point here. And I want to lead in at that point there. Perfect, perfect. That's all we need to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy paste. We'll go and edit this one. And again, double click on the lead ins and just modify where we want to start and where we want to go to. So that's good there. And like that. It's another way just to do the contours, just to give you more ways to work.